Hello, I've been uh, wanting to buy a hard disk for quite some time and uh, this uh, Amazon Prime Day I found a couple of them on discount so I thought of buying one but when I wanted to compare or see some videos online or blogs um, to compare the speed and features I couldn't find much especially of the high-end models so this one is Seagate One Touch and the uh, WD My Passport Ultra and uh, the Toshiba Canbio Gaming. So these are all the high-end models from these respective brands. Uh, Toshiba also has Canbio Flex. That's also a high-end model. Um, so Flex is for iPads or phones. You can directly connect to it. I mean, it's meant for those devices as well as uh, laptop and computers. This this one speciality is it works with uh, um, your gaming consoles. That's why it, the name Canbio Gaming. Um, but you can use it um, with the phone and all, but I did ask uh, this to the company and they replied back to me saying that, yeah, you can use it other way around, but this is meant for that purpose. That's why there's a, a different naming for these two different types of drives, the same. So the price is almost the same um, of both of these. So which one, whichever you want, you can get it. But one thing to note that you can connect this drive with your gaming console, but with ps5 you can't play from the games from this device you can just store it but for other consoles you can even play the games from this yeah all right so i have here the seagate uh yeah so in this video i'll be showing the different features of each of this drive and compare the speed as well so let me just remove the cables so first let's talk about the build quality so the build quality of this looks decent. Metallic front, plastic back. So this is metallic paint, but it's plastic. Plastic front and back. Yeah, this looks like metal. And uh, this is as well plastic front and back. Silver color front, dual tone. They have padding here as well. But none of these uh, drives have padding. So if you ask me, the quality-wise, these two look good. The quality looks good. Take the sticker, the quality of the casing. This one looks to me a bit slightly cheaper. Yeah, the plastic quality and the sticker. The front looks fine. Yeah. So given the price, so this is the cheapest among all. So this was around 120 pounds, but on discount it's around 77. Uh, prime day. So this is around 100 pounds as well, 100, 110 in discount may go lower. This is 95 without discount. So it's the cheapest among all. And if you now compare the size, so, so these two are same. The Toshiba is the smallest, then the WD, and the largest is the Seagate. So the width is almost the same, but the height is a little bit larger. But uh, the Toshiba, even the width is slightly less. Height is the same as WD. But that's that has a pro and con. So these uh, these two are small, maybe because the ports here are soldered to the drive. But in this case, the port is not soldered. You can actually remove this port, and then it would be a normal internal drive, just like your internal hard disk. And you can use it as an internal hard disk after that. So there are even a couple of videos online on YouTube, you can check them out. Uh, there they have removed this casing, this steel cover. And uh, yeah, you could see it's not soldered, so you can just remove it. So for example, if let's say down the line, your memory is, is not sufficient, you need a higher, a larger hard disk, external hard disk, you can use this in your PC. So like I have my PC here, I have a lot of space for 2.5 inch uh, drives, so I can just use it as in great configuration. So that's quite good. So actually that's a deal breaker for me. Uh, both of these drives have this soldered, so you can't use them as an internal drive, as a normal internal drive. Uh, so I don't mind slightly larger size if I'm getting that versatility with the Seagate. So, and uh, another thing you might have noticed, micro B ports, but this is USB-C. WD has USB-C port. That's another difference. And if you see the wire, so this is from the Seagate, it's a medium thickness. This is the thickest wire among the three. 
it's USB-C, but they have given an adapter which converts this USB-C to normal USB. And this is the thinnest of, of all, and it looks a bit cheaper as well if you compare it with others. This USB uh, for, for the Toshiba is the thinnest. So, yeah, let me show you that port, uh, not the adapter. So, here you get the adapter. This is the adapter, USB-C to USB, but it's not a big deal. It's nice that they give, but you can even use other. So they do have this uh, thing coming out, if you can't see, I'm not sure if you can see in the video, which locks it in. And uh, here, so this is another USB-C. So I can't fully insert it because of that thing extending at the back, at the bottom. So, but maybe this will work if you want to reuse this adapter and other USB-C cables, but they do have this. So that's nice of them to give it. Or you can buy it off Amazon. I, I do have adapters, so I'll maybe link them in the description below. So now, what else? Yeah, all of them have light indicator here, 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 and here at the side. So, yeah, let's, oh yeah, another thing before we go on to test the speed, this has a lot of uh, extra things, uh, like it gives you this, Mario, what's that called actually, yeah, Adobe Creative Cloud plan for four months, and uh, there's a photography app as well, I forgot the name of this, Mario or something like that, yeah, so they do give some extra features oh yeah they also give this uh, data recovery so that is not given by any of the other so this is also two year warranty this is also two year this one i'm not too sure i need to check i think it's two years as well yeah it's not written here but maybe on the website it's written yeah i think it's two years as well so yeah the, the data back uh, rescue the data recovery feature is uh, unique to this one um, that's quite good. So if you're wondering, yeah, this is a, a new drive, which I got. It's the same as the old one. Okay. All right. Let's compare the speed now. All right. So here I am on my Windows desktop. By the way, you can use all of these hard drives on both uh, Mac and Windows, but I would be running the test on Windows today. Um, I am running this RAM cleaner. So if let's say I'm copying one file to one of the drive, I want to clean the RAM or cache before copying the same file to another drive, just to get a realistic reading. And I will be using this app called Crystal Disk Mark, which is a famous app to compare the speed. I have some test data here. I'll be having this on the left hand side and all the three drives, Seagate, Toshiba, and uh, Naui is actually the WD drive. This was the default name it came with for some reason. So let's start with Toshiba first. So Toshiba is D, so I'll select D here. It is empty as you can see. I will just keep the default settings and just select all here. And while the tests are running, I would like to say a few more points on the differences between the features that I didn't cover earlier. So all of the drives are USB 3.0 compatible with the USB uh, 3.2 gen, gen 1. And uh, so only the WD drive come with the hardware encryption, the AES-256 bits, but the other drives don't come with that. WD and uh, CK do have the backup software. Toshiba, I didn't find any, but you can use any third-party backup software if you want. But the CK, as I said earlier, also comes with data recovery, but the other drive don't come with that. So that's the plus.
Okay, so we have all the three windows. The Seagate is 148, which is very close to Toshiba. 148, 147. Yeah, the random speed looks the least in Toshiba. That's not great. Mm, yeah, the random speed of WT is nice, but the other speed is uh, not as good as the other two. All right, I hope this video gives you an idea of the three brands and uh, helps you in making your purchasing decision. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.